Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a watercolor cupcake. So let's jump right in. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper, my Windsor Newton Professional watercolors in my palette. I also have my Princeton Snap Brush in a size six round and a pencil and eraser and we're ready to go. Okay, so first we're gonna start drawing the outline of the cupcake. So I'm gonna start with the cup, <laughs> the cup first and I'm just gonna draw two lines coming down like this on a slight angle, all right, with a slightly rounded bottom, like that, okay, and then I'm going to do a bit of a curve here for the actual like cupcake part, like that. And then I'm going to just do an outline of the icing, okay? So we're gonna have it like two kind of curves like this. And make sure you're doing it nice and light so we can erase the pencil marks underneath. And like this. So another one, just a bit smaller. And it's gonna come rounded like that. Okay, and then it's going to come up to a point at the top, like that. Okay, so let me just erase these lines in the middle and make them all a bit lighter. Okay, so you can just see like a little outline, okay? I can probably see my outline a bit better than you can see it. Okay, just to get a feel of the the shape of the cupcake. Okay, so now I am going to create my cupcake color and we're gonna do like a light brown um, base. So I'm gonna grab some yellow ochre here and I'm just gonna mix it with whatever pink I have. So it's kind of like an orange. Then I'm gonna grab a little bit of burnt umber Maybe a bit more pink. Okay, and you could do a chocolate one, like it doesn't have to be this at all. And I'm just gonna water it down. And I'm gonna go over the cupcake part. Making it really light. And I'm just gonna kind of make it a little bumpy where the icing will lay. And you'll see why after. I might even make this a bit lighter on one side. I'm just going to mop it up a bit, take a lot of that pigment off, go over it with water. So it's a bit lighter on that side. Like that. And then I can even go and drop a bit more color on that side and then underneath those little bits of the bumps. Okay. I might even grab a bit more brown, even a bit of black, just a tad, tad bit, just to make a bit more of a shadow. That was too watery, it's all good. Here, I'm gonna mop it up. Don't know why I have little bits of dust on there. There we go. Okay, so there we go. There's our cupcake base. And then depending on if you want the cupcake, um, the part that holds the cupcake to be a different color or what, it's totally up to you. Um, I'm actually going to do some little, um, what's it called? Little divots in here. like that paper for the cupcake like that. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? I can't speak. It's all good. Just gonna add a bit more color in there. Like 
that just kind of like a scalloped edge and that's where the cupcake paper will be. Okay, there we go. Might drop a bit more color as long as it's still wet on that one side. Okay, like that. Um, and then we're gonna let that dry because I don't wanna touch the icing part or the paper part of the cupcake. Okay, so now that that's dry, we can do either the icing or the paper part. You're gonna wanna pick the color of your paper. So I think I'm gonna do like a blue, maybe like a little bit of a turquoise. I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna mix actual turquoise with a bit of green. I'm just gonna make it very, very light. So I'm just gonna take a lot of that water off, or that pigment off, and I'm just gonna go over the whole paper part with a light wash of this color. Again, you can use whatever color you want. You know, maybe you're doing a birthday card and you want to do this for someone's birthday. Do their favorite colors. Okay, and go around that scalloped kind of edge carefully. Okay, and then you're gonna take a bit more of that color and we've kind of decided that this is gonna be the side of the cupcake that has a bit more shadowing, shading, Sh shading, you know, shading. <laughs> gonna have a bit more shadow and I'm just gonna drop some darker pigment on this side just to get a natural shadow for that first layer and we are gonna do more shading after I'm just gonna do some horizontal lines just these aren't gonna be the actual ones just giving a little bit of texture to that first layer okay And again, you can see it's a bit darker on this side. Okay, you can even add maybe a bit of black if you wanna make it even a little bit darker. Like so. Okay, now we are going to do the first layer of the icing. So, Pick what color icing you wanna do. I'm gonna do a traditional pink icing cupcake. Um, also, I'm gonna make it really light so I can do some fun sprinkles on it after. So I'm just gonna go over the whole bit of icing with a light wash, the lightest wash that you can. Because remember, when working with watercolor, we don't really, you can add highlights with white after. But um, it's, easier working from light to dark because then you want to leave your highlights in there first, right? Because you can't really go light over dark with watercolor. You can use white ink, but in this case, we will use white ink as well. We just want to lay our highlights down first. Okay, so just grabbing that light wash, cover the whole icing part. like that and I might actually do a couple bumps on this side you'll see why after once we do a bit more detail so just do one two little bump on that level one two on that level okay and then I'm gonna go back in just drop a little bit more pink on the one side Like that and now we're gonna let it all dry and then we'll come back and do more of the detail when it's all dry okay so now that it's dry we're gonna start off with the icing part because I think it's the most fun part and maybe the most difficult part <laughs> so 
we're going to be creating some shadows. It's going to be like one of those spiraled icings. Um, we're going to be creating some shadows and I want some natural shadow color. So to create pink's natural shadow color, I would add its um, contrasting color. So pink derives from red and red's contrasting color is green. So I'm going to add a bit of green, whatever green I have over here to my pink. Okay, and that's gonna be my shadow color. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that off. And we're gonna start off over here at the bottom. And we're just going to take that shadow color and do a little curve at the end here, like that, okay? Then we're gonna leave um, a really light area. Okay, and I'm just gonna do a little line here. I'm gonna, with water, sorry, this is with water. Okay, so it's not gonna make it any darker and I'm just gonna take a bit more of that shadow color and just go along that line. Okay, so you have that really light area and it's darker towards that line. So I'm gonna do another one. Just with water, I'm gonna create a line here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space Go in with my shadow color and let it bleed a bit like that, okay? Again, my water. Make sure it's not too, too much water. Go in with my shadow, let it bleed a bit like that. And then we're gonna come up here. So this first little rounded part, cover that area with water. Come in. Shadow. Just going to take some of that off my paintbrush and just move it around a bit. And then the last shadow part, again, that little bump area here. Small little, almost look like they're little triangles. I'm gonna go over the bump like that. Okay, so you should have some white space um, in between each little section. And then you make it darker on the one side and it will just gradually move over and it'll make it lighter. It just, I don't know. So now we're gonna do the same thing to the top, uh, but I wanna make sure that this is dry first, okay? So I'm just gonna quickly wait for it to dry. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing again. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the shadow color just because this side is more shadowed anyway. And I'm just gonna go and curve it all the way up to the side, kind of like we did with this one. Okay. And that one can just kind of be all shadow if you like. Okay, and then you're gonna do it again, get your water. Come up, add a bit of shadow color, like that. More water, and it's just gonna stretch out a bit longer this time. I think I have to make a bit more of that color. Just adding a bit more green to it, okay that. Okay. And then do it again with your water. Again, not too much water. Make sure it's not pooling. Shadow color. Like that. And then this little bump here. Oops, I'm gonna take off some of that color. Like that, and then that last little bump, you can actually grab that shadow if you like, bring it around. Ta-da, there you go. I'm just gonna go over any parts that I think may need a little bit more shadow, like that. And then for the top of the cupcake, we're just gonna 
go with our shadow a little bit. You can wash off your brush and then blend it out a bit. Or you can do the same kind of thing that we did before. So a little bit of water. Grab your shadow. Put it in there, just leaving a little bit of white space. And then the last little section here. And just add a little bit of shadow. Like that. And there you go, there's your icing, okay? We can do a little bit more detail on it when it's once it's dry. Sorry, excuse me. And, but that's kind of the gist of it. And already it looks pretty realistic. Okay, so now we are going to do the paper part. And we're just gonna grab our, our turquoise color that we had before. And we're gonna do this, not the same kind of thing, but just a light wash of it. And you're just gonna go where you made those little creases and you're just gonna go down so they're kind of on an angle closer out to the sides and you can make a bit of a shadow color with this too you can just grab a little bit of pink and that kind of dulls it down a bit or a lot oops <laughs> hold on I'm gonna mop that up which let's start on the side because it's darker just gonna start doing some lines down. Just leaving a little bit of, not white space, because it's not white, but lighter space. And you can wash off your brush and just blend out that line a bit so it's not so harsh and sharp. And as you get closer to the middle of the paper, you want it to be a little bit lighter. So here it's gonna be a bit darker because it's more in the shadow. So use just a bit less paint. See what I mean? I'm just kinda, I keep going so there's less paint closer to the center. You can just blend it out a bit. It doesn't have to be so um, sharp, like I said, like 10 million times, probably like that. And just keep going. This, we're not doing too much detail. Okay. So I'm going to take a bit more of that shadow color and especially go along the bottom. And then I might just tap some darker color where there would be creases in the paper. You can wash off your brush and then just blend it out just a bit. Okay. Like that. That's a bit too dark right there. We can fix that when it dries. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. I'll fix a bit of that over there after, um, and then we'll finish up with a bit more detail on the cupcake and sprinkles and all that. Okay, so now that it's dry, I'm just going to fix up a little bit on the paper. And then I'm going to wash off my brush, dry it, and I'm just going to blend those lines out. Okay. I'm not too worried about the paper part. I think it looks fine. But what you want to make sure with these lines is that when you're reaching the center, they're going straight up and down. And then as they get out to the sides, they're curving just a little bit with the angle of the cupcake. Okay. Okay. So now let's do a bit more detail on maybe the icing. So I can just grab a bit more of that icing color, like the pink and green mixture, okay? And I might just go darker where some of those curves are, okay? Like that, like that, and then I wash off my brush, dry it. 
and I can just blend out those lines just a little bit. Okay, I was just darkening up some of those curves. Okay, again, wash off my brush, dry it, blend it out. Okay. And then where some of the icing meets each other, you can just, you know, make it a little bit darker there. I'm going to wash off my brush, dry it up, blend it out. Okay. Don't worry too, too much about that part. Okay. And then before we get to the last part of the sprinkles, I'm just going to do a bit more detail on the cupcake park, park part. I'm going to get a little bit darker brown and I'm just going to go underneath the icing here because it would kind of cast a shadow. Okay. With a bit of darkness, wash off my brush, dry it, and then blend out that line. So it's not so, so harsh. Then you can, again, just dab a bit more darkness in there and a bit more to the side if you want. Okay, so I'm just going to add water. You know what? Let's just add water to the whole thing, the whole cupcake part. Okay, not a lot, just enough to make it a nice wet surface. Grab a bit more of that darker brown. And then right where the icing kind of meets it, add a bit of shadow. Same thing with the cup part. And then on this side. You can just add a little bit of texture to it if you want. Just kind of throw around some of that brown, just very, very lightly. Blend out some of those lines. I'll pop in a bit more of that lighter brown. And I actually might darken up where the cup kind of meets the cake part. I'm going to add a bit more shadow here. I'll do that when it's completely dry. Okay, hold on. <laughs> just blending it out. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm just gonna darken up where the cupcake meets the, the paper part. Okay, and now before the end of that, I know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. Um, we're gonna do some sprinkles, and yeah. So pick whatever color sprinkles you want. Um, you know what, let's do some darker pink ones, but maybe not that dark. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add some white ink to my colors to make them a bit more pastel-y and a bit more opaque. So I'm just going to throw some white here. I'm going to grab some of my pink. Okay. And I'm just going to add sprinkles. And we are going to add shadow to these two, so just keep that in mind. There we go. We have some pink ones. Let's get some of these maybe like bluish. Just going to add a bit of white to it. Some turquoise ones to match the cake part. That, and then maybe we'll pick one more color. Um, let's do maybe a pastel-y kind of yellow. So I'm just going to grab some more of that white and a bit of cadmium yellow. Like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna wait for those sprinkles to dry. And while we're doing that, again, I'm just gonna take my brown color 
my dark, dark brown color. And I'm just gonna kind of go in some of those scallopy parts of where the cupcake is. So actually not too much paint. You don't want it too, too dark. But just a bit. So there's a bit of shadow. Okay. Just gonna add a bit of texture to some of the cupcakes by just, oops, there was blue on my brush. Just taking a little bit of that brown and a little bit of water and just kind of dabbing it like that. Okay. And then last but not least, the final part. Okay. I'm gonna take the slightest amount of black, like barely anything there and you can tap it on your paper towel. I'm just gonna go underneath some of the sprinkles like it's casting a shadow. Okay, just like the smallest amount of black that you can. Okay, just adds a little bit more realism to it and there you go and that's it there is your cupcake thank you all so much for watching my video i really hope you liked it and i hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram and facebook for even more have a great day guys bye